my last person experience. It's your key to your possible. I say thank you guys for being this cool Yu-Gi-Oh! pixel art video. It's awesome for you guys to be here. Today's monster that I've got for you guys is of Dark Paladin. Now, before I get into him, let me explain about myself. As my name is Peter Ralph, which is split my blast on pixel art square by square, pixel by pixel. As you guys have seen all the times in front of you, I do all this in the state of Minnesota. So if you guys want to learn about, about, more about me, my artist statement, social media links in the description below. But let's get right into the monster. So, um, I've done Dark Magician, who's you know, who's um, uh, one of the one of the cards that you need to mix to make this particular character. Unfortunately, and I feel really, really bad, guys, I can't remember the other one, but um, the reason I, I want to talk more so as an artist more than, than a, um, a person who, who uh, has seen the series and knows the card game. Uh, basically, Paladin of, um, Pal uh, Paladin of Dark Magic, I wanted to do him because it's like having... Uh, an older version of Dark Magician, but also with a sword. And, it, you know, he's kind of like a mix of a magician and a, and a warrior at the same time. It's just really, really cool. There's tons and tons of detail that I could that I could play around with, keeping to the original character's design while ex while taking some extra uh, colors and variations, making him th thus more complex and more awesome. Um, you know, as you guys can see, I've used mixes of, like, greens, blues, yellows, purples, reds. Uh, pinks and um, light blues and it's just mixing it all into the original character design of kind of like a blackish blue kind of armor and then like the background being kind of like it's generic colors you know with the symbol that um, they pretty much had behind Dark Magician with just some variations of the background colors I think it turned out really really awesome um, so you guys are probably wondering you know like what's the size of this piece is the piece is 150 pixels by 150 pixels or 150 squares by 150 squares depending on how you perceive pixel art my pieces off of youtube are two to four million pixels just so you guys are well aware depending on the variation complexity and projects and all that great stuff that's so i've given you my info to check that out after this video is done with on all my other social media uh platforms but basically um for my YouTube pieces, it's 150 pixels by 150 pixels for 99% of my YouTube projects. Uh, on my other channel, I, my pieces are 300 pixels by 300 pixels, which is the celebrity celebrity pixel artist page. But um, right now, for this particular page, it's just 150 pixels by 150 pixels, just so you guys are well aware. Um, anyways, getting back to the art is that, uh, I, if I remember, if it serves me correctly, this was either in the last... Uh, one of the few last episodes of Battle City uh, of the original um, anime, or it was part of the movie that they that they finally made, the first one, uh, Pyramid of Light, if I remember correctly. And just ever since I saw it, I remember this character a lot because he looks really, really cool, really dynamic, and I why not make him into pixel art? So thus, I've made him into pixel art, and I'm looking for your guys' feedback in any shape or form. If you guys want to leave suggestions, comments, whatever it is, leave it in the comments below. Uh, my social media links, like I said, are there for you guys to contact me. Uh, I hope you guys like, favorite, and share the video if you enjoyed the video in some shape or form. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. More icons coming out. I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for this Yu-Gi-Oh! Pixel Art uh, video. Remember that perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I will see you guys in future Yu-Gi-Oh! Pixel Art videos as well as the rest of this week's uploads. Thank you.